Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We're on day three here in Snowdrop Tundra, and we have 10,214 sneaky snacking to start off with, so it's looking a little bit better. I realized after yesterday's episode that part of the reason our sneaky snacking isn't as good as it has been is that we didn't have a berry collector with a full pack. We have been collecting to try to get these skill triggers, so... It made a little more sense once I thought about it. My uh, outrage was a bit premature. But that said, we do have the first night of the good sleep day event. We have drowsy power times 2.5, which is tonight. But the research we're about to have is drowsy power times 1.5. Let's go ahead and collect our sleep points from the first day. We got 600 to add on there. And that'll give us 18,218. So we do have some more sleep points to play around with if we need some Poke Biscuits or any other items that could be beneficial. And let's just go ahead and jump in and see if we got anything interesting on last night's sleep. Session 151. I think we're at like great two. Maybe I forget actually where, exactly where I'm at right now, but we did get nine hours and 57 minutes of sleep. Because I went to bed late again last night, trying to make up for uh, make up for the holidays. Got 12% dozing, 52% snoozing, and 36% slumbering. So probably snoozing. Yep. Sounds about right. Drowsy power times 1.5. So hopefully we can get around 10 or 15 million. That would be nice. Probably a, probably a long shot with us being on Snowdrop. Maybe not as long of a shot as I thought. Well, that by far exceeded expectations. 18.5 million. With a top belly for the, on top of it. There we go. A top belly Eevee. I, yep, we already had that one. So let's see if we got anything new first off. Um, it looks like all old sleep styles, but we did get uh, another Flaffy. I see that quite a lot. It's kind of surprising, actually, how many times I've seen Flaffy. But Flaffy, two Jigglypuffs, two Slowpokes, and an Eevee. Actually, Slowpoke, we, we could use a, a good candidate for a Slowking. So that could be interesting. I know Slowking is faster than Slowbro in terms of its gathering frequency, but I don't know if it's actually any more beneficial over what we have already for um, the Slowpoke Tails. Nobody's hungry. We do still need a better Eevee, and we also need a better Slowpoke for the Slowking, like I was saying, but I also feel like we do also need a better Wigglytuff candidate. Hmm. This is actually kind of a kind of a tough choice. We have a few that would be beneficial. I don't think that we'd be able to take the Jigglypuff home today. I'm trying to think of which is the most beneficial. Honestly, we have a solid candidate for an Espeon. We have a solid candidate for a Sylveon. We do need a good candidate for a Glaceon. Um, I kind of feel like Eevee is actually the most beneficial to us at this point. So let's see what we can do with that. Hey, there we go. Clutch big hit. I'll take that. Works out. really what I'm looking for with this Glaceon candidate is Berry Finding S and skill up or main skill beneficial sub skills is what I'm looking for with a solid Glaceon candidate. Uh, a top belly Eevee that's been sent out a lot. Uh, people let's send out some Jigglypuff candy. That could help some people. And let's see, we got one. Oh, that's actually quite surprising that we got 1,052 research XP and 1,700 dream shards to go along with it. 
well, let's go ahead and switch on over and see level 12 with a modest nature um i don't actually recall modest that well let's see what we got we got milk cocoa and sausage i'm getting ahead of myself i haven't even clicked on eevee yet there you are the milk cocoa sausage and we've got energy recovery bonus which isn't terrible inventory up m not looking good helping speed s this is definitely not a glaceon candidate ingredient finder and skill trigger s so this one's kind of just all over the place well this looks different uh still only goes to level 60. okay so here's more of the classic look that we have but this looks way different okay so they actually have it broken down into different line graphs now interesting so skill trigger value 70 overall is that what this is saying surely not because that average doesn't sound right or is that just giving me only the level 30 okay well might have to do some reading on how this is uh <laughs> how you're supposed to read this now but we can go ahead and default for today back to our more of the old school graph that we're used to um still shows okay yeah it still shows the perfect the worst and around where ours is but we don't need all that for now we can tell this one's not going to be super great for a skill trigger which is one of the things we need for um for a glaceon ingredient count's going to be pretty low overall this is just a middle of the road eevee uh, not really going to be good for much of anything uh we did forget to put the nature on there which is modest which is not helpful it is ingredient finding up but speed of help down which is just going to make it even worse so yeah total strength 11 yeah ingredient count probably even worse surprisingly high that's actually quite surprising that it's that high with speed of help down huh well anyway like i said i'm gonna have to check into the documentation see see what uh what's up with this new graph and how we're supposed to read this but i think we can pretty safely say this ev is just kind of middle of the road not that great so we'll definitely be going to live with the professor well, let's go ahead and switch back on over and let's carry on another 668 sneaky snacking no new news no new medals but what have you guys been up to hoping for like 40 oh i almost had it i was gonna say 47 but i didn't get it out so it doesn't count but we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 13 double candies uh so that would be what 52 reports would be 25 percent so we're actually a little over we're closer to that 30 percent today so not bad there's a level up there's another level up we got a handy candy and two ingredient tickets very good very good and hopefully I won't need to use those ingredient tickets too much. Oh, we did get one skill trigger for 1700 strength gained. That's pretty good. Let me zoom out a little bit. One more fiery herb to add in there. Oh, nope, just didn't catch it. There's what we need. Main skill trigger first thing in the morning on Raticate is what we need. Now what would really be beneficial, there's three for three. What would really be beneficial is if we could get this main skill trigger on Slowbro and it go to Raticate. That would be very nice. We got the skill trigger and it did go to Raticate. Did it? Now, now I'm second guessing which one's which. This is the problem with having names like mine. Hard to tell who's who. 
just because I want to figure it out. Let's see. Let's double check real quick. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Barry 82. 141% energy. So that we're probably going to have a pretty good day with Raticate today. <laughs> that was the perfect scenario. Raticate triggers his own and then Slowbro triggers and gives it to Raticate. Could not have asked for a better outcome. Well, let's see. We still don't have enough to make the grilled tail curry. Thought we were we're one shy. Well, that is unfortunate. Um, we are just really having a hard time with making much of anything. Let's go ahead and pull up the, uh, the meal maker and plug in our ingredients and see if we can make something new at least because this is getting a bit out of hand with trying to make some of these lower level recipes. I am not getting much out of them. Uh, no, we are on curries, not salads. Let's see, 41. Uh, no sausage. We do have 12 milk. Uh, 17 oil and no honey. Oh, I am out of honey. There's my zero. 17 oil. My keyboard is further away from me than usual. Two tomatoes. Uh, one. Just one. Cocoa. Seven tails. And no soybeans. Yeah, we are just not in a great place. So looks like we may be using those ingredient tickets earlier than I had planned. I really don't want to make don't want to make any of these basic recipes right now. We did make it to great three. That's pretty good. We are not making great progress, but we're making decent progress this week. I am curious how it's going to be now that Raticate has 141% energy. Let's get some ingredient tickets going. I really could be cheeky and give that Raticate an energy pillow right now, too. You know what? I didn't even look at the ingredients we got. Because I was too busy thinking about it. But we got five more tomatoes. And five more tails. But we definitely can make a good recipe today. Definitely. We're going to make that grilled tail curry now. Choose a recipe. Let me just double check what other ingredient we got. Because if we can make a new... Ah, uh, so herbs was one of them. If we can make a new... Uh, a new recipe, I might do that instead. And ginger. So no new recipes, I don't think. No. Alright. So we'll make the grilled tail curry. With any luck, it will be extra tasty. Uh... I have not seen this screen. That's new. There's room for 12 more ingredients in the pot. Shall we add some more ingredients at random to fill it? So you can either add more randomly, don't add more and just cook what you got, or cancel and go back and add what you want. That is brand new and that's very good. That is a very, very good and welcome feature. I have only done it a handful of times. But I know a lot of people have accidentally just thrown a bunch of random stuff in there. Uh, just clicking through stuff very quickly. So I don't know when they snuck that in, but definitely a good feature. No extra tasty, but we did get 11,820. So we're doing really good there. Not quite the... Uh, 20 or 30,000 we were getting last week, but still very nice. A lot better than the five or 6,000 I was getting on those basic recipes. Which is definitely something we need to get under control. We need to get a decent backup recipe going. And I have a couple options for that. We need, I think in order to get good backup recipes, we need some potatoes. And I do have a couple of good options, but first I'm just gonna be real cheeky. We're going to do this for the science and I'm going to give him an energy pillow. 
Pokemon's full on energy and can't recover more. That is unfortunate, but I can give him one later after he's got down to like 99%. And I think we might do that. Or I could be extra cheeky and give it to the slow bro and hope we get more tails, but I think that's probably a bad call. But let's see. So with potatoes, we have a couple of decent options. And I'm not really too sure which one is the most beneficial. I think Bellsprout might be, but its frequency is very low. But I do know that potatoes and tomatoes go together really well. So it may be worth it to invest the extra time into this bell sprout. I'm not sure what its stats look like as a victory bell, but having charge energy S is always a good thing to be able to restore itself. It starts off with ingredient finder M. So that's good. The nature kind of okay. But our other option is the shiny graveler, which we already have more invested into. It does get soybeans and potatoes, which don't seem to uh, synergize nearly as well as the tomatoes and potatoes, but it does have helping bonus and speed of help up. So it's kind of a kind of a hard call. It doesn't have ingredient finder, which is unfortunate. So it's kind of a tough choice, but this is what I'm between now in terms of getting our potatoes. Mime Jr., if we had a better one, would probably be the one I go to because it has tomatoes and potatoes, which are a good combo, and leeks at level 60, which we can't get to yet, but when we are able to get there, would be very nice. This is probably the best ingredient spread for a Mime Jr., but it's just not the best until level 75, 100, and its speed of help nature, or its nature lowering the speed of help is very bad so i definitely don't think this is the one we invest in it's definitely between these two and i just don't really know which one is going to be our best choice just yet um by all means let me know your opinions which one you think is going to be better the bell sprout taking it all the way to a victory bell we will have to use some handy candies to get it there um but we need to get it to level 30 anyway, so not really that big a deal. We're gonna have to use handy candies one way or the other. So it's either gonna be the bell sprout with the tomatoes and potatoes and ingredient finder M, but a neutral nature, or the shiny graveler that we take to level 30 to get potatoes and soybeans with a helping bonus, but no ingredient finder sub skill. So, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Give me your opinions um, and we'll try to figure this out. But I think that's really the thing holding us back on having a solid backup recipe right now. But that said, that's what I've got for today. So I appreciate you guys coming by and watching the video. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, later, dudes.